What happens when an aldehyde and ketone are both present in the same molecule? So this is when you have multiple carbonyl groups. All right, so let's draw a representative molecule here. Um, put an aldehyde here, that'll make carbon one, and let's put a couple ketones in here. So now the issue here is that both aldehydes and ketones are named with suffixes. All right, but there is a prefix way out of this. Now aldehydes and ketones can both use it, which I know makes it a little bit confusing, but um, I'm gonna present it using the prefix for ketones. Okay, um, so you can see I've got a phenyl group, a nitro group, two ketones, and an aldehyde. So I'm gonna label this. The aldehyde is circled in red, all right, and you'll notice that the aldehyde is the highest priority functional group. This is important because this is um, going to drive what gets the prefix and what gets the suffix. So the ketones come right in behind the aldehyde at number five on the priority list. Then we have the phenyl group at number eight on the priority list and nitro all the way down at 13. So the highest priority group we're going to see is the aldehyde, which means that's carbon one. It also means that um, the aldehyde is going to get named using its normal naming method, which is the suffix AL. All right, it's the ketone that I'm going to adjust for. All right, so there's seven carbons. So this is a heptan something. All right, let's put it all together. So alphabetical order, all right, between nitro, oxo, and phenyl. N comes first, so this is 5-nitro. The oxo groups, so those are the ketones, are at 3 and 4, so this is 3,4-dioxo, so N, then O in terms of alphabetical order, then P, 6-phenyl, hept, and, because there's only single bonds between the carbons, al, A-L for the aldehyde. Okay, notice I didn't put the 1 AL because because the, the fact that there's an AL there means it is at carbon one. All right, I don't, it's often seen as redundant and we don't write the heptan one AL. So I'm gonna just put a note here, the aldehyde is the highest priority group, so we typically will use its you know normal naming method, right? An aldehyde is normally named with the suffix AL. All right, a ketone is normally named with the suffix own, but because the aldehyde is higher, it gets the normal naming method and we switch to the oxo prefix for the ketones.